only I knew what he intended to do with her. It's not over till it's over. She isn't hungry. She's dead, and it's all my fault. No way. I'm unique, more or less. No way. I'm unique, more or less. This gauge is different. I wonder what it means. But, as long as it's green, I'm sure it's just fine. Certainly not. Thank you very much. There are more than enough of these guys around already. Certainly there are more... Certainly there are more... Oh, the irony. He took away my respect for life. And I kicked his butt. Wait! Don't! This is nuts. Hmm. If I read these gauges right, they indicate the fill level of the machine. I guess this symbol means carbohydrates. So that means... The tank contains enough protein for one clone. I guess this... So... The tank... This symbol seems to stand for fat. So that means... The tank's got enough fat for one clone. Before I get myself another Hermes, I ought to use up the old ones. Oh no, not this again. Okay now, take it easy. Hey little one, are you hungry? And don't do that. Hey little one, are you hungry? There are more effective ways of hacking something to pieces. Genius. Oil's well that ends well. This isn't going to make it any tastier. Genius. Huh. Someone's been doing some serious overtime. The shift started so long ago, the holes have closed up. Quitting time is for quitters. What? Still too soon to clock off? Probably because the holes have closed up since the shift started. <laughs> the cook must have clocked out decades ago. <laughs> I don't know. Duh. Here goes nothing. The oil seems to count 
as fat. Lucky guess. <laughs> What's that popular saying? Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> I knew it. The protein gauge has risen, and so has the one for carbohydrates. Looks like they were roach eggs after all. Nah, I should save the oil. There's not enough fat to reconstruct gold. Whoops. <laughs> Hope nobody tells her I said that. I don't know. This seems a little off to me. Yeah, I knew something was wrong with that stuff. The gauge for minerals rose along with the water gauge. Ah, who cares? I killed two birds with one stone. Please, a little more respect for the miracle of life. The tank's got enough fat for two clones. This gauge is different. I wonder what it means. But as long as it's green, I'm sure it's just fine. No way, I'm you more or less. Uh, can you punch this for me? Thanks. She isn't hungry. She's dead, and it's all... She's clocked out. You set, set a new, new overtime, overtime record. record. To, to keep, keep the, the memory, memory of this grand moment, moment forever fresh in your mind, mind you receive an amazing bonus. Garlic. For garlic, garlic helps you remember, especially in old age. And judging by your overtime, you must be as ancient as the hills. Enjoy your well-deserved leisure time. I'll, uh, remember that. Good thing salt doesn't come with a use-by date. Otherwise, this rust-red color might make me think twice. <coughs> oh, not a chance. It's totally rusted shut. Oh, it's just one obstacle after another. <laughs> there we go! It actually worked! This is incredible! Could it be? that I have just discovered a way to make use of olives? Mmm, an explosion of exquisite flavors. Ancient fryer grease. Heh, <laughs> good things otherwise. Swillow fizz. This used to be my favorite soda. I always liked how they made it glow in the dark. And it still glows when you pee. Ah, McGreasy XXL. My favorite brand. The only fries that don't fall out of Bozo's nostrils.
Hey, little one. Are you hungry? Actually, I, never mind. Eat this. <laughs> Adorable. Okay now, take it easy. Feeding time is over. And here's some more protein. Good thing there isn't a gauge for cholesterol. <laughs> the essential building blocks of life itself. Ah, swillow fizz, an essential nutritional staple. There were months when I lived on nothing else. <laughs> you know what they say, you are what you eat. Salt, the spice of life. Oh, ho, ho. this is going to be so yummy. This is where the tank is filled, and the gauges over there show the levels for the various components. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to follow a recipe for once. For me? Oh, damn it! <laughs> oh, the irony. He took away my respect for life, and I kicked his butt. Why don't you just let me go? <laughs> now you know how it feels. Yes, but what else do you want? You said so yourself. All is lost. That's what I thought. But then I found gold. What were you planning? Can she be saved? Oh, you know the girl? She fell from the sky shortly after you. There was a spark of life left in her brain. The rest was pretty much smashed up, so I created a clone, which survived long enough for me to perform a complete scan. Here, your lady friend can be cloned with this. Even though I have no idea what good it would do, Deponia is lost. <laughs> Just leave that to me. I have the cartridge with her full body scan. It's not over till it's over. What was this again? It's a scan of your girlfriend. It can be used to clone her, even though I have no idea what good it would do. Deponia is lost. <laughs> Just leave that to me. Ho <laughs> ho! He took an ah chick. The first you were Mr. Negative, and now it's me. Uh, did you notice how we just switched roles? So just don't screw it up. The first uh, so
It fits like a French fry up a nose. It fits like a French fry up a nose. She's trusting me to think of something. I can't let her down. The gauge has started to blink. Does that mean anything? Ah, who cares? I'm sure nothing bad will happen. All right, and in you go. I'm gonna save you, Goal. What's happening now? Something's going wrong. What are you doing? One guess. I'm saving Goal. But this won't work. There's no nucleic acid left in the machine. So what? It worked for you. Quick, abort the process. The pipes are overheating. The whole thing's about to blow. No! Ah! Goal? Is that you? She failed to mature properly. That's because of the nucleic acid. Where is she now? That pipe leads into the sewers under Portofisco. I'm so sorry, Rufus, but it looks like your girlfriend is lost forever now. No, she's alive. I can still save her. You know, I've still got some nucleic acid left. In theory, you could still use it to mature her. But what about Deponia? The last high boat could take off for Elysium at any moment. You cannot save gold and reach the Ascension Customs at the same time. And even if you could, the Upper Ascension Station houses the Organon's headquarters. You'll never make it in there by yourself. But I'm not just by myself. My Resistance friends are in Port of Fisco. I'll get them to distract the Organon, while Goal and I sneak onto the high boat. And who's going to let them know? Who will save Goal? And who will prevent Argus from leaving on the high boat in the meantime? You can't do it all. There isn't enough time for that. There would have to be three of you. And even if you could, Hmm. Oh. Are you sure you really want to go through with this? There isn't enough biomass left in the chamber for three clones. This way, at least I can serve one final purpose. <laughs> You're the ultimate cool guy, Hermes. Let's not get sentimental. Have you got the nucleic acid? Nucleic acid? Check. Very good. Remember? It won't be cloned as well. Only one of the three of you will have it when the process is finished. Don't worry, Hermes. I understood everything. You can rely on me. Uh, I only hope your construction with the sandbags is going to work. If the lever isn't activated... It's gonna work all right. It has to. In that case, let's not lose any time. Three, two, two one... Here we go! Yep. What next? One of you two needs to gather the rebels for a surprise attack. You do it, huh? Why me? I'll head to the Organon headquarters and delay the high boat's launch. I said it first. No, I did! I'll go down to the sewers and rescue Gold. But that's my job! No, no it's, it's mine! It's my I'll rescue Gold. I've got the nucleic acid. No, I've got it! But no, Hermes gave it to me! me. Why don't, don't we have a look? look. <laughs> They'll be flabbergasted when I pull the nucleic acid from my coat. <laughs> So, who's got the nucleic acid? Why don't you look to make sure?
One of those two halfwits has got the nucleic acid, but which one? One of those two, but which... Oh man, I wish I could look right through them somehow. Like, by means of a cool new interface element at the lower edge of the screen. I'm the one with the nucleic acid, so I'm the one who gets to save Goal! <laughs> I knew it! I guess this means I'll get to save Goal. Not so fast. Hey! Hey! Ugh! Hey, stop that nonsense! Why won't that idiot let go? Hey! Ugh! Hey, stop that! Why won't that idiot let go? Why won't he help me? Hey! Ugh! Hey! Hey! Ugh! Hey! Help me, will ya? Who am I supposed to help? <laughs> it's the second mouse that gets the cheese. <laughs> hey! Goal? Is that you? Man, it's dark here. <coughs> Goal, we have to be careful. Who knows what sort of dangerous beasts are lurking in the dark? Uh, her constant howling is putting us at risk. I have to get her to calm down somehow. Please be very, very quiet. After all, we must assume we're surrounded by evil people eating monsters. Ah! No, please don't. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet, quiet. Hmm. This is dry, long, and thin. No doubt about it. It's the plot of Secret Files Tunguska. <laughs> or a low-hanging branch. Either one. Let's see whether I can feel something. Aha! Uh -huh. There's a crevice in the rock. There's something growing there. Some kind of moss or brush. There's something, some kind of... Here we go! <laughs> Yikes! Not so loud, Goal! You'll wake up the dangerous beast! Here we go! <laughs> Yikes! Not your wake up! Here we go! Not your wake up! Please be very, very quiet.
quiet, after all. Ah! No, please, don't! Uh, her constant howling is putting us at risk. I have to get her to calm down somehow. Wow, look at that! I landed right at the foot of the Upper Ascension Station, the site of the Organon Headquarters, and the birth of the last high boat to Elysium. I need to be careful from now on. Well, more careful than usual. This place is crawling with Organons. They're obviously withdrawing from the city. I wonder what they're planning. Maybe I can eavesdrop. Move! Hurry it up! There are still some crates that are bound for Elysium. No, not that one! It's supposed to go to the third intermediate level! Yoo-hoo! Hello! Oh, rats. Nobody there. Huh? What's that? And... To conclude today's show, I have a very special treat for you. You all know him, you all love him, and here he is now with his current smash hit, Cowboy Dodo, with Look At Me! A solar-powered, illuminated sign. What you want, where you stand, there's no plan except the one with the big old label goals for the future. What? Come to the get you, to do what you want to do. So we're seeking exposition, that's okay, man, for a two year style of life. You're self sufficient like a cop, I went for solo, never pull a thing up sofa. But if you did it beyond your own account, you never ask advice, just give a free tutorial. We have your own, you never cited any yet. Oh, what you amigo? What's off of your big ego? The only thing that's bugging me is every time that we go. Hey, what's up, bro? You go, why is every moron struck by luck? Why am I stuck in the muck while every jerk is what the look if you never ask for help and suit yourself with LRB? Wanna know how it's been done, just look at me! Does it hurt to face the fact? Have your optics track attack? Die and act a remedy, just look at me! Did you die after quadruple? Need your loopholes for your pupil? Is it still too hot to see? Well, look at me! They call me Cowboy Dodo! Cowboy Dodo! They call me the Cowboy! <laughs> what do you know? The Organon is a Cowboy Dodo fan! Now that he's distracted, I just have to find an open crate. Preferably one that will be taken to Elysium, and then it's goodbye to Clonia. <laughs> Pity the goal is here. I shouldn't have left her fade in the hands of that stupid other Rufus. Same old story. If you want something done right, do it yourself. I bet those other two are doing it well as me. They call me the According to the label, this one is going to the control level, so not to Elysium. I have to find another crate. That's a waste of I should find a crate that's going to Elysium instead. According to the label, this one is going to the control level, so not to Elysium. I have to find another crate. That's a waste of time. I should find a crate that's going to Elysium instead. There we go. This one is going to Elysium. Oh, darn. It's secured with a combination lock. According to the late, so I have to find... Oh, darn. It's secured. There we go. This one. Oh, darn. I can't get it open as long as there's something on top of it. Oh, look at me, look at me, twerp, whatever. As long as his yowling distracts the guard, I'm not going to complain. Oh, twerp, what? As long as his... There we go. This one. Oh, darn. I can't get it open as long as there's something on top of it. There we go. This one. Oh, darn. It's a kick. Also, Elysium. Perfect! Darn! It's too small for me to hide. According to the lecture, I have to find. That's a. I should find. There's no label here. I have to find another crate. That's a waste of. I should find a crate. Forget 
get it. I'd have to run right through the guard's line of sight. Problem, Bozo dear. No, thank you, Mrs. Mook. Let the boy do his business in peace, woman. Well, I thought he needed help. I'll manage. It's just you're afraid, aren't you, Sonny? Uh, yes. Of going party? No. Of the end of the world, you moron. No, no. It's just. Uh. uh... It doesn't matter. Don't even think about it! Yoo-hoo! You weren't expecting that, were you? Boy, you've really got a lot of... ...cheek. Hey! It wasn't exactly pleasant for me, either. What an ass. Bozo's neighborhood has really seen better days. The part that's still standing is brittle and on the verge of collapse. And the part that's sitting is hard to recognize behind the newspaper. May I bother you for a moment? Huh? Oh, look, Luke! It's baby Bozo! Nonsense, woman! That's not baby Bozo! It's just a stray hobo! Is it now? So why do I think it's Baby Bozo? Because you're old uh, and senile. Excuse me, I hate to interrupt you, but uh, I'm not a hobo. See, Luke, I told you he's not a hobo. So back then you also said it's not gangrene. We could have saved that leg, you know. Poor Timmy. What are you doing here in the middle of a war zone? Don't you know what's going on around you? Are you still talking to that hobo woman? I'll talk to whoever I please. What does he want? He wants to know what's going on here. Well, tell him that nothing's happening here at all these days. At least not since the Argonons were treated. You can tell him that yourself. I'm not your secretary, you know. Is that the Bozo family's house over there? Why? Isn't this one good enough for you? It may have suffered a little grenade damage here and there, but it's still our home. Calm yourself, Mook. He's asking about the Bozos. Well, in that case, he's wrong here. They live next door. Do you know what's up with Bozo? Oh, so you're a friend of Bozo's? Nonsense, woman. Bozo would never be friends with some random hobo. That's because, unlike you, he has a handful of brain cells left. Even if he doesn't act apart at the moment. He's depressed, Mook. Oh, of course he is. He's got no job, no girlfriend. The world is coming to an end. He does so have a girlfriend. Her name is Bambina, and she lives in the floating black market. If she contradicts him as often as you do to me, I can surely understand why he moved back in with his folks. Yeah, I'm looking for the resistance camp. Tell him we're not buying anything. The young man is looking for something, Mook. And so he asks you of all people. You never know where you put anything. Ah, at least I still have my manners. Oh, if you really had any manners, you'd take care of your guest. No, oh, the hobo. I almost forgot about him. Tell him that if he absolutely must go around panhandling, he should try the resistance instead. Their camp is just down the stairs and across the square after all. Those people at least know how to keep order. Do you even get what I'm saying? Five, right? Nonsense, woman. It's at least seven. <laughs> what do you know? You haven't got a clue what this is about. Then why don't you ask your good buddy, the hobo? He seems to have an answer for everything. Ah, rubbish! He's not even talking. That's because you won't let him get a word in edgewise. Look, he's trying to say something. 
Again? Ah, just forget it. This is too crazy, even for me. I'm leaving. You know, I think you were right, Mook. He was a hobo after all. That's what I said, woman! But you never listened to me! It's been a while since my last mail robbery. I hope I still know how to disarm the edges on the stamps. The letter is addressed to Bozo's mama. My dearest honey bunch, I wish you were here with me. <laughs> what a cheesy opening. That's gonna cost him some points in my online review. Well, at least we're getting to some action next. Service at the front doesn't seem to be good for my health. To be more exact, I stepped on an Organon landmine, and in the next few seconds I will... Arrgh. All my love, your Papa Bozo. P.S. Watch out for the mailman. I think he is secretly using our bath. At any rate, I found underwear with his name on it on top of the toilet tank. I'd make a great fireman. Epic water fights, fire production measures, and throwing cats out of trees at people in danger. Oh yeah. The city is in ruins, the world perishes, whatever. Just as long as the laundry gets dry. I can still hang my things up to dry when all my plans to save the world have gone down the drain. I would look absolutely fabulous in this outfit, as long as nobody important is looking. Fire! Fire! I'm on my way! Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo, wee! -oo. Yeah! Hmm? Oh! Look! Mook! Oh, that is so cute! <laughs> Baby Bozo is playing with his cousin David's fireman's uniform! Nonsense, woman! That isn't Baby Bozo. It's a wandering hobo already! Oh! You're right! No! Oh, I knew it was a mistake to cheat the optician at Bingo! Bozo has a ninja in the family. How could he hide that from me? After all, it was a lot of work cutting the ninja detector out of that issue of Craftolino. That is the upper ascension station somewhere up there. The last high boat to Elysium is waiting. Uh, I can decide later what to take to Elysium with me. A wire cutter wouldn't be bad. Hmm. Yeah, okay, one more time. Hey! Hmm? Oh! Look! Mook! Oh, baby Bozo is playing with his cousin Alex's ninja outfit! Nonsense, woman! It's just that hobo again! You think so? <laughs> well then, he's not getting a caffeine lollipop! Huh. When this outfit grows up, it wants to be an astronaut, so it can keep up with the other two. Is that really necessary? <sighs> All right. Bozo, would you like another caffeine lollipop? You shouldn't give the baby caffeine lollipops, woman. He'll just take off again. All you ever do is complain, Mook. The child has to eat. How else will he get to be as big and strong as his brother? Oh, heavens above. I certainly hope the baby Bozo doesn't take after that whiny good for nothing. He should take a lesson from his cousins instead. At least they've done something with their lives. Don't listen to the nasty old man, sweetie. Here, you can have a caffeine lollipop from me. Wow, that was humiliating and enlightening at the same time. Kind of like my school days. I knew there was a reason I dropped out after the second grade. That was even easier than taking candy from a baby, but only half as much fun.
that was even, but those old fogies aren't getting anything from me. According to the intergenerational contract, they still owe me a complete education, flute lessons, and a clean planet. But I'd be happy to have a sports car instead. I can still hang my things. What's going on here? Oh, look, Grandpa. We have visitors. Oh, then I better put on my pants, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Are you a friend of Bozo? <laughs> Bozo doesn't have any friends. <laughs> I mean that gifted tinkerer he talks about. Yep, that's me, Rufus. Where is the old pirate? Pirate? That chump? <laughs> chump? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Bozo is upstairs in his bed. Crying like a little girl. <laughs> Speaking of which, can somebody get me out of here for crying out loud? <laughs> He's stuck. He must be weighed down by all that junk mail in his bag. <laughs> huh, that must have been too intellectual. I'm stuck. Isn't that weird? Are you hungry? Thursday? Where does the week go? No thanks. I gotta pack lunch. <laughs> Is that a letter? Where did you get that? Postal secret. They say your nose keeps growing as you get older. I wonder what gold will look like someday. They say... I wonder, and you're really Bozo's grandpa? I've wondered that for years. But my doctor refuses to conduct a grand paternity test. <laughs> Mail for Widow Bozo. There's no Widow Bozo here. <laughs> you want to bet? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a joke. Hey, where's the applause? That was a real side splitter. What's in the letter, Rufus? I'm not telling. I want the laughter back. I have a couple of questions about Bozo. So do I. But sometimes the most obvious explanation is also the best. <laughs> Grandma Bozo just shouldn't have smoked so much while she was pregnant. <laughs> Listen, boy, if you're here for gossip, talk to Mama Bozo. I'm busy watching the neighbor across the way taking a bath right now. Hmm. <laughs> but that's a pet store. That explains how she can balance that ball on the tip of her nose for so long. And why there are fountains, rotten cataracts. <laughs> Listen, boy, if you're here... <sighs> Better not try that again. I don't want to spoil their mood. I have a lollipop for baby Bozo. A caffeine lollipop? <laughs> I loved those when I was a kid. They really help you concentrate. Good for your memory. Strengthens your sense of balance. And also good for your memory. But don't give them too much. Oh, oh, oh. Otherwise, you'll be playing xylophone on the roof tiles all night. <laughs> Why would Baby Bozo need a radio? He can't even talk. Let me ask you. Why would you need a brain? <laughs> I don't get it. He's the spitting image of his brother. He sure is. And dribbling, too. Coochie, coochie, coo! <laughs> Movie material. Why would baby he can't even let me ask? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. 
Saving the world isn't child's play. So, that's Bozo's mama. He has her eyes and her bust size. <laughs> what? That was funny? <laughs> that's a very open-minded audience. So, he has... <laughs> what? <laughs> So, you must be Bozo's mother, right? Hmm, guess again. His, uh, aunt? His, uh, wicked stepmother? Uh, a burglar? His parole officer? No, 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 no. His grandma? His food taster? His sister? All of the above? Wait, uh, what was the second to last thing you said? His sister? <laughs> oh, Rufus, you sweet talker. <laughs> yeah, why? I'm his mother, of course. What? But... But you're welcome to call me Mama. As in... <laughs> come to Mama. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with Bozo? Oh, Rufus, I'm at my wit's end. He's been like a different person ever since he came back. The boy won't eat. He won't talk. <laughs> And not even his beloved Fifi Fairy Frill stories cheer him up. <laughs> <laughs> Fifi Fairy Frills. <laughs> I'm gonna make Bozo well again. You're such a nice young man. I wish I had a son like you. <laughs> Do you know the way to the secret rebel camp? But of course. It's down the road, across the square, then straight on. I sometimes bake muffins for the young soldiers. And then she uses them to lay a trail from the camp gate to our house. <laughs> Can you tell me something about Bozo? Of course. What would you like to know? Watch yourself, Rufus. Don't open that can of worms. <laughs> what can? Oh, don't take him seriously. It's not a can. It's just a tin box where we keep the family photos. Get out of here, Rufus, before it's too late. <laughs> I didn't even know that Bozo grew up in Portofisco. Didn't he tell you anything? <laughs> No idea. Listening to him is so incredibly exhausting. Oh, that's because his wobbly cheeks press on his jaw. <laughs> he stopped wearing his braces, hasn't he? Yeah, I'll go and remind him. <laughs> Every hour if I have to. <laughs> I had no idea that Bozo has a baby brother. He's the spitting image of Bozo. He sure is. And dribbling, too. That's because all male bozos have an exceptionally full head of hair. As soon as I start breastfeeding them, it grows like crazy. <laughs> Maybe you should use your breast milk as a... J just a minute. What was the secret ingredient to your special shampoo again? That's a secret. <laughs> I had no idea that Bozo had such a cool mother. Oh, Rufus, you flatterer. <laughs> you certainly know how to cheer up a grieving woman. <laughs> Where's Bozo's father? Missing in action. I'm beside myself with worry. I'm glad I have so much support from friends who distract me from my grief. What friends would that be? The milkman, the plumber, or the mailman? <laughs> well, you know what they say. You don't leave your good friends hanging. <laughs> Did you know that Bozo has a girlfriend? Really? Yes. Her name is Bambina. She owns a weapons shop in the floating black market. Did you hear that, Grandpa? Bozo has a little lady friend. What? That wimp? I wouldn't be believe that when I say it. Yes, it's really hard to imagine. He's always been so shy. When I gave him the talk about the birds and the bees, he wouldn't leave the house without a beekeeper's hat for weeks. 
What was Bozo like as a child? There must be some embarrassing stories you can tell me. <laughs> Not really. He was a very good little boy. He never broke anything. And he took very good care of his Fifi Fairy Frills dolls. And even when playing knights, he always insisted on being the princess. <laughs> Maybe we should talk about something else. Mm, why not? After all, it's not every day that I get to enjoy the company of such a fit young man. At least not now that the mailman is stuck in the window. <laughs> I thought that Porta Fisco was occupied by the Organon. So it was until recently. But under the command of the new general, the Resistance has recaptured the city. New General? Oh, you haven't met the General, then. I didn't even know we had ranks. <laughs> Can I stay for dinner? But of course, Rufus. Bozo's friends are always welcome here. Especially when they look so scrumptious. Just so we're on the same page, I'll sit at the table eating and not end up as a meat dish next to the salad. <laughs> right? When's dinner? You need to ask Grandpa. <laughs> he promised to cook if Bozo ever brought home a friend. <laughs> you weren't listening. I said I will cook if Bozo ever brings home a girlfriend. Why, that's ever gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's talk later. You make yourself at home. Meanwhile, I'll dig out some photos from Bozo's ballet lessons. <laughs> Why would baby Bozo need a radio? He can't even talk. Let me ask you. <laughs> I don't get it. I have a lollipop for baby Bozo. Oh, that is sweet of you. But please, don't give it to him all at once. He gets so hyperactive. Don't want to make him cranky. <laughs> Why would he can't even... Let me... Ah, <laughs> 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 movie material. There you are. Come on, bedtime's over. Rise and shine. Uh, hey, what's wrong with you? Go away. But we need to get to the rebel camp. You have to help me save the world. Bozo. <laughs> oh, man. What have we here? A doctor's referral to a therapist. Will you look at that? I've always known he's lost his marbles. So now we have written proof. <laughs> I like this idea. A self-portrait as a cash box. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all right, you old grouch. Yeah. It's not the whooping pox. That much is clear. But what is it then? Bozo. Leave me alone. Oh, good grief. I've always known he's lost, so now we have... No worries. I'm gonna take care of your baby brother while you're knocked out. No! Oh, don't panic. I'm good with children. I'm gonna teach him a few tricks. For instance, he could help me with my saw trick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. What could possibly happen? Baby Bozo is much shorter than you, after all. Hey, Bozo! Say, eh? <sighs> Come on, open up. Here comes the high boat. Don't wanna. Hey, Bozo, here's a letter from your father. What? I mean, uh, wait a second. Were you fond of your father? Very much. Uh, nah. In that case, I, I don't think this would cheer you up. Hey, Bozo, here's a... Uh, we, uh, nah. <laughs> yeah. Well, 
Would you like a lollipop? Hey, who's throwing things at me? Hey, wh what was that anyway? Must be lying around here somewhere. Sweet. <laughs> I would make such a great father. I wonder if there are any limits to my good nature. Huh? Where did he suddenly disappear to? <laughs> hey, that's not funny. <laughs> Listen, boy, if you're in... You know what, Mama? What is it, my boy? Okay, uh, let's talk later. You make yourself at home. Meanwhile... <laughs> This is, uh, what? A pacifier? At least, it feels like a pacifier. Somewhat drooly and, uh, well, pacifier shaped. Here we go. A pacifier. At least I hope so. There. That should shut her up for now. Finally, silence. Will you be quiet now? Good. Here we go. Ha! Got it! If I rub the stick in this crevice, I might be able to light a fire. All I need is a little kindling. Here we go. I got it! There, the kindling is stuck in the crevice. And now? Hey, sure, I can light a fire this way. Ha-ha! Success! Is there anything I can't set on fire? Say something, Goal. <laughs> Goal. Uh-oh. Very funny. Just so you know, that was all part of the plan. And anyway, we have more important things to do now. We have to find that what's it acid and, and turn you back into a real person. It's such a nice day outside, and I'm hanging out in the sewer. 